Well, I spend a lot of my research time uh, uh, on black holes, the most fascinating objects uh, of uh, astrophysics. Um, we know at least that uh, there exist two kinds of black holes, stellar mass black holes, which are just formed by the uh, gravitational collapse of single massive stars. Okay, these black holes are uh, not very big, okay, a few kilometers in size. Uh, and maybe in our galaxy there are several millions of stellar mass black holes. But now, uh, maybe most interesting and most uh, spectacular, we believe, and we are almost sure we, uh, by, by observation, that in the center of each galaxy, there is a huge black hole, not a stellar mass black hole, but what we call a, a supermassive black hole with masses uh, more than millions of solar masses, and even in some cases, seven billion uh, solar masses. For instance, in the, cen the center of our, of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, uh, we measure uh, indirectly uh, the mass uh, of a black hole with four million solar masses. With such masses, these black holes are able to capture full stars and to destroy stars by uh, what we call tidal forces, namely, uh, well, uh, gravitational uh, uh, difference, in, in fact, that uh, elongates the star uh, so uh, strongly that the star is destroyed. So uh, many years ago, uh, I worked on the process of tidal destruction of a star and uh, I, uh, I predicted uh, the process uh, of uh, pancake stars, namely the star flattened, uh, crossing a region around the big black hole, are flattened into their uh, orbital plane in the shape of a gaseous uh, uh, pancake. Uh, it is heated, strongly heated, and it explodes and it gives a, a flare, okay? So I call that a flambid stellar pancake, okay? Uh, and finally, it has been observed. 